What's going on everyone? My name is Sherwin and in this video we are going to be talking about Tesla buying back our Model X. I've mentioned it in previous videos but now I have some more details so that I can share with you in this video. So the first thing I wanted to go over is just the timelines of what's been happening. Okay, so let me jump in because I think I forgot to mention what buyback means. Uh, from the information that I've gathered, uh, submitting a buyback request uh, to Tesla, it's pretty much bypassing the Lemon Law because Lemon Laws are different uh, from each state. And so what it is, it's kind of like a shortcut to where they don't have to go through arbitration and spend additional money on lawyers and wasting additional time. Um, so this is something that they are um, giving an option to owners, but it needs to be reviewed and it needs to be approved. So it's not a guaranteed approval, but if you are in a similar situation where you feel that you've been going to service often enough, um, Tesla can review your service history and determine whether or not uh, they will uh, provide a buyback uh, request or approve the buyback request. So in my case, this was submitted through the service manager. It may be the same or it may be different with your service department, but just, just ask. So essentially how I understood this process is all vehicles have a VIN number and there is a title attached to this VIN number. When you purchase this car, whether you purchase with cash, finance, or lease, uh, Tesla pretty much, so if you're financing it, then the bank that you uh, got your loan from pretty much holds the title because they own the car until you pay it off. So you just can't um, like, hey, I want a refund, return it or whatever. You have to go through this process. And that's why it's called a buyback they will buy it back and in our case they're gonna buy it back for the amount that we paid for originally back in september 2022 that way there is a transaction um, where the title moves from us back to tesla because we paid cash for our car we got the title within a month or so and so we have to bring it they buy back the car, we give them our title, and now they will be the owners of our previous car. Let me know if there's anything else um, that you can add to the information that I have provided. Basically, back in August 16th of 2023, I went in for a service um, for a steering rack replacement. I have a video on that if you want to check out more details about it. But that was pretty much the point where I'm like, you know what, this is this is just way too many times, way too many problems. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and request for the buyback. Now, back in December, and again, I have videos of this, um, they had suggested to look into a uh, buyback option because already with December, uh, was that like two months in after uh, taking delivery, we've had already so many issues, but I figured, you know what? I'm gonna be patient with this. We love the car. Go ahead and just figure it out. Um, that way, if other Model X owners have similar issues, at least you know how to fix it based on how you fixed my car. So I remained patient. I said, you know what? No, it's it's fine. Let's just let's just figure this out. We love the car. We don't want we don't want to go through that process. But yeah, the, the the last one was like the last straw. So I was like, nope, we're going to go through this process. And so uh, September 8th, we got an email uh, approving our request, but we haven't uh, received an offer yet. And we were concerned that uh, maybe they're not gonna give us a full refund. We've used like 13,000 miles worth that we've driven it. So maybe they'll deduct it. Um, but at that point, we put in an order for an ultra red uh, Model X plaid uh, with cream interior. And why not? Because the prices have gone down. So even if we were going to take a depreciation hit, um, it's just a very good deal. And that was the, the original model or trim level that I wanted. And Abby just said no. <laughs> so, but this time, I actually want an argument. Ooh. 
hoo hoo, there is hope for us. <laughs> but um, yeah, so all jokes aside, uh, we ordered the Model X plaid with cream interior. Uh, we just kept the wheels to uh, the stock 20 inch. But basically, the that was ninety one thousand nine hundred and ninety before all the taxes and everything. Um, but we were also met with other options if we didn't want to wait. But currently, at the time of filming this video, the only options that we can get uh, more immediate are all long range models, and one of them actually has over three thousand miles. Another has uh, over 500 miles and one that looks like 9 miles on the odometer. So that might just be the one that's new. So while placing the order of the plaid, um, the discount is now $500 with the referral. So I referred Abby um, and it's also a thousand points, but it does come with three months of FSD. So the discount used to be, I think, at one point, $1,000, and I believe the points was like $10,000. But because they reduced the price of the Model X, I'm sure they also reduced all that stuff as well. I may not get the points, but it looks like we are going to get the discount because Abby is not a brand new Tesla owner. She already has a Tesla account because of our previous cars. Um, it just she doesn't have a car under her account at the moment and so I I spoke with uh, one of the sales advisors and mentioned it to them and she said she cannot guarantee the only way she could guarantee the thousand points is if she were to create a brand new account with a different email but I said for a thousand points I mean yeah it's a waste but at the same time she already has her profile and everything set up um, it's fine. We'll, we'll roll the dice and if I don't get the thousand points, it's fine um, But we at least would get the 500 discount. I think I hope <laughs> So September 12 2023 we received an offer from Tesla for the amount of hundred and twenty thousand six hundred and seventy six dollars and thirty five cents the purchase price was hundred and nineteen thousand five hundred and sixty nine dollars and thirty five cents um, that's with everything. That's with um, taxes, registration, and all, all of those goodies. Now, you may be wondering, well, why did they give you more? Um, last month, we renewed our registration uh, for $1,107, and they actually refunded that as well. So we were pretty happy considering that we thought we were going to take a depreciation hit or a use hit, but apparently they gave us all our money back. On September 18th, 2023, we received an email from the service manager that says Tesla is ready to conduct the surrender and inspection appointment for your vehicle. Could you please let me know uh, your preferred date and time for this appointment to happen before the next seven days? Surrender appointments can take place between Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please bring the two key cards or fobs and vehicle registration card vehicle must be returned free of any aftermarket components window tint vehicle wrap wheels etc and without damage excluding normal wear and tear so now what led to this uh lemon thing or buyback thing um basically here are the issues that we've got uh, October 26 was the first time we went in for service with loud clicking and clunking noise um, and it, they corrected it by adjusting the front suspension torque um, and then October 31st um, that was in the shop you know I'm not gonna read all this stuff but I'm just gonna give you the dates so that at that time it was uh, two days at the, at the shop November 28th um, pretty much the, the parts that they did not have in stock um, or in their inventory has now arrived. So they applied all those fixes. December 17th, this was the longest one. This was 11 days. Um, pretty much they did a bunch of things, but they also broke some other things and a different loaner. And then January 20th, uh, the clicking noise again. This one was uh, for a day. February 8th, uh, clicking noise again, but this time they uh, replaced the skid plate and it looked like it fixed all those clicking and clunking noise. And that one uh, was for a day. 
Um, the more, more recent one is August 16th. This time it's for two days. This one is the steering rack replacement. Um, and this is when I submitted the buyback request. Um, and then August 23rd is a mobile visit because they did something during the August 16th visit where they left my Falcon doors in calibration mode and we could not use the Falcon door, one of the Falcon doors. Um, it would not open or close, nothing. It just, you just can't use it. Um, and then they also uh, replaced one of the door moldings. Um, so all in all, if I were to count the days that we never had it, it's it's about 21 days, um, including the one mobile visit. And that's that's a lot of time. So I figured they may have looked into the service history and said, wow, this car is pretty banged up. It's something wrong with it. And they've decided to just buy back the, the car. So as of this recording, um, our estimated delivery date or EDD is November to December and we thought we were going to be part of the end of the quarter push which would be end of September but it's not looking like it's going to happen. I think what they're doing is they are building more of the long range five seater because it's part of the um, tax credit and long range six seaters and seven seaters. I think that's what they're building uh, more of because they're probably getting more orders uh, for those configurations because it's it's really close to uh, Model Y performance pricing. I mean, at least the, the price gap between the high-end Model Y, which is the performance, and the five-seater uh, Model X, um, is the, the, the price gap has decreased uh, substantially. And what I've noticed online are people actually considering jumping from a Model Y to a Model X. And I don't blame, I mean, the Model X is really a great car, but the caveat is watch out for these issues. Now, being that the EDD at the moment is November, December-ish, um, we're thinking it might be a 2024 model. But again, Tesla is not one of those regular uh, car manufacturers where they put a lot of different um, features and hardware uh, between years they just put it whenever they feel like it so the the years are meaningless so 2022 2023 there aren't really any big changes um i think it's just a larger screen and the the tesla on the back trunk is now like white or just a different color um but even then there are 2023 models that didn't come that way because some of these changes just happen mid-year and so they just push them out uh, whenever uh, they feel like pushing them out. They don't wait till a new year comes out and um, that's when they apply it. So it's not a big deal whether we get a 2023 or 2024. The big issue that we're having is if the EDD stays at November to December and we have to give up our car, surrender our car in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be out. Well, Abby's going to be out of a car um for about a month to two months and that's going to be a problem so when she does work she, we have a company car that she drives but when she's not working um she does not have a vehicle to drive so that's going to be an issue um i have messaged the service manager to see if they can somehow figure out a way for us to get a loaner um or maybe push or extend the surrender date closer to November, December. Um, but again, the EDDs, the, they're estimated. We don't know, they're just estimated. Cause when we got our 2022 model, we waited one year and 11 days. And we knew that it was gonna be at least a year. So at that time, we just purchased a Model Y long range seven seater for the time being. So at least we were able to, to keep the car have a car for a year and then when we took delivery of the model x we sold the model y so right now i have the model x at my friend's tint shop because he is going to be removing the wrap and the tint uh, i'm trying to figure out a way to possibly do a video on it but as of right now my scheduling is not lining up it's not matching i'm gonna try 
or at least try to get um, some footage on it and um, share with you guys what the process is of removing a wrap and removing a tint but um, we'll see one of the surprises during this process is we we got all our money back plus the registration renewal um, a lot of people I talked to had said you know what you are gonna get your full money back um, it is a lemon law thing so you should be able to to get all that money back um, but I just don't like to get my hopes up I like to prepare for the worst that's just how I am um, but uh, we're happy that we're we're getting all our money back plus we're pretty much getting change and we're able to purchase an upgraded trim level now you may be wondering man you have all these issues and yet you went and ordered another model x yes as i've said in other videos there's just nothing out in the market number one we're not going back to gas number two the closest thing that uh we looked at or at least i looked at was the rivian r1s um, one of the things that i didn't like was it only had a seven seater configuration we want a six seater configuration we could live without the six and go with the seven it's fine the other two things that um just made our decision even easier is the service location uh for rivian are all far um, and again, me being a pessimist at times, if something were to go wrong with that car, I would have to drive farther to get that car serviced. Uh, and, and right now, when we're doing the buyback process, Abby doesn't have a car. So when I have that thing on service, I would have to drive an hour and a half to two hours. And yeah, so I'm not going to do that. And then the other thing too is, I can get a plaid for much cheaper than what the r1s is going for also there's about an 18 month wait from the last i checked i did a video on going to one of the rivian dealerships so check that out as well when you get a chance but those are the reasons why there just isn't anything else out there uh, mercedes may have something bmw may have something but as what i've been seeing is bmw is charging subscriptions for different features like heated seats <laughs> i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that um plus the tesla supercharging network is just it, it, if you've experienced it like there's nothing to worry about and we do uh, a lot of road trips so th that that's what i mean by there's just nothing close to what the model x brings uh, we know the issues possible issues that we're going to run into we are preparing and we've prepared just like we did for the 2022 that we are um, getting uh, replaced we're, we're prepared it's just it is an inconvenience and we're rolling the dice again but there just isn't anything else out on the market that even comes close to what at least we expect good and bad um, so yeah, there's nothing else out there That's about it. I am planning to do more videos during this process If you like the video, please like the video if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe If you want to go check out some of our road trips We did take a road trip with our model X to Northern California. Go check that out I also have a bunch of uh, videos in a playlist of road trips and I also have a playlist of all the issues that we've had with the Model X, go check that out as well. And again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.